Hey everybody and welcome on back to Building with Whip. We are back here in our awesome survival city build and I am so excited to get back into this today. Last episode we came through here and built up this awesome flying platform in the sky and talked about quite a few things around our city, around our world, what we're going to be doing throughout here. Then I thought it'd be great to address a few of those as we're coming throughout the start of today's episode, just to get everything right on the clear pathway here. A lot of comments, wow, I missed another spot. You guys called me out on like four of these. Apparently I missed another one. But a lot of the comments said, Whip, your city is really high up in the sky. You can see over the top of your wall right there. What are you doing? That doesn't make sense. Well, everybody, it's called a hill. I know, it's a newfound thing. Never existed before in real life Minecraft or anything like that. But what I wanna make this look like is that our city is on a hill. I wanna make it feel like we're coming upwards here. This area is gonna be a little bit of a tight slope probably in this vicinity here, because we got like 40 blocks to bring us all the way down there, but I think it'll be okay. We can use a lot of staircases, and this is gonna be mostly housing in this area. We're only gonna have one road kind of coming in here and coming back out that way, or a road that'll kind of come through and come up to this guy, but we can have staircases and people pass all the way throughout there. So that, that is point number one. Point number two that many people said, I originally wanted to turn this into a plains bound. Just completely reset this swamp area over here and turn it into a plains bound. Not resetting the biome and generating new things, just basically changing the color of the grass and the water. A lot of people said we could use this fancy thing and opt to find where you can disable swamp colors, which makes us look a little bit more like this. That is an option we have, but I like swamp colors. I like the color of the swamp just didn't want it in this vicinity. So we're going back. And so we have this dark color in here and a lot of y'all were like, no, don't get rid of it. You should keep that inside your world. You should keep it as like an industrial area, the slums area, or maybe, you know, just the harbor in general is full of a bunch of grunge and grimy stuff that's being brought in from the ocean. You know, all these big boats are gonna be coming into this area from out in here. And somehow all of that gunk is gonna be trapped inside of the closed off harbor that doesn't have a great way to circulate. Y'all are way smarter than me. I totally understand you guys are all geniuses, okay? Okay, I get it, I get it. I'm gonna hold off and changing this biome over. We're gonna build with it as is, and whenever we get to building with this area over here, we will then decide on what we're gonna do with all those things. A lot of you were saying that we could turn an industrial area and get some forges and more smokestack type things going over here. I don't know how industrial I wanna go in this world, but it's not a bad idea. That might be kinda fun. And so that'll be a good way that we can get ourselves started here and kind of figuring out all those different parts of the world that we can do. Speaking of things we can do, we're gonna be jumping into today's episode to get ourselves started. I want to fill in the rest of this dirt stuff over here, get that all lined out and make this area look a little bit more blended in and nicer over there. Then what we're gonna be doing after that is we are going to be building up some sewers today. And I wanna teach y'all how to make some good looking sewers in Minecraft. I don't have any blocks on me. We got some scaffolding. Most people build sewers like this. You have your one line that goes straight through your city. And then you're like, cool, that's it. Oh, hey, we have a street over here. Let's make a straight line here. And it comes up this way. And you just get like all these straight lines of it. We're not doing that. That's not how we do this thing. So let's get into it. Moving into our first time lapse here, we are actually going to be filling in the dirt for a very large section of our city here as well as we're going to be extending the roadway out to connect up where we have on that large plaza area down to our fountain in the center. This is all moving towards to what we can do after we finish up the project in today's episode, work on the sewers. We are then going to be moving back into working on the front of the city. So I want to get these roadways in here as a good network for both of the projects. Anyways, talking about the sewers here, you all are going to see an image on your screen. What I want to be doing moving forward is showing you all a little bit more of the reference images that I'm using in order to create these things, where I'm getting a lot of the ideas from, since so you all can kind of have a better idea of what the general concept we're going for here is. Anyways, in this picture, you can see that there's a lot of those straight ways of where the water can flow through, but there's also a lot of large areas for pools of water to sit in inside of the sewer. So you can have those large areas as holding facilities, say if there's a giant storm and it floods and we need to get all that water quickly off the streets. So it's not just standing water everywhere. We need to have large reservoirs inside of our sewer area that we can add in or that all the water can flow down into. 
that also gives us the ability to come in here and add a lot of actual detail into this which i think is really fun i love this because those large open areas if any of you have played skyrim i know i'm bringing up that one but there's that town of riften which has the thieves guild in it if you think about what they did for where that thieves guild is based out of the sewers i kind of want to build some underground areas similar to that i don't want to spoil that one for you if you haven't played the game maybe you got to go play it but anyways let's get into building this stuff this already feels about a million times better than it did beforehand just by having the terrain in on this side instead of it just being hey here's a road with a really big drop off it's so much nicer i love this this is really cool as you can see we added in the roadway finishing it up through here i'm bringing my bed with us and it brings us all the way up to that point right up there so we can actually get up onto this top platform you'll see that the road is a little or the the hill around here is a little steep at times particularly like right in here but as we add the structures in that'll even it out when we get the houses in here it's going to look a heck of a lot better i can promise you that and so as we kind of come up here we're now up in this top area which is going to be really good still have yet to fix up that little spot over there but what i wanted to do now was quickly update the map for us so we can see the difference between this so before we had it right here has not been updated for a good while let's take this where can we get one out right there that's fully updated do this one update it as well and then we need these two so there's that guy and then that last one there we go the whole roadway is there in and it's barely revealing that point in there which is fine i guess that's okay but anyways now that that's updated we got our big grand structure up here which i'm so ready to get to building let's first focus on some sewers for today also looks super cool under here right now hello and welcome on back to my mess under the ground area i was really hoping to show you guys a god view sight of what this all looks like but we kind of did a thing to make sure that can't happen but i've been doing a lot of work not only on here but i actually also i want to do an update here for you all because i think by the time this video goes out it's going to be announced elsewhere but i'm going full time i'm going full time on youtube i am so so excited to be doing that it hasn't happened quite yet i'm doing a little pre-recording so i have a little bit of buffer room finishing up a f last few projects at my previous job now this is my job ho oh, ho i love it anyway so what i want to give you all an update on here is thank you all so much for the support on everything so far you all have been absolutely insane i love you all to death so thank you all so much for that but i've also decided to redo my patreon page if you anybody's interested in supporting me a little bit further beyond the videos and things like that uh be sure to go and check out the patreon page in the link down below i've decided to move into a little bit of a youtube consulting type mode because a few weeks ago on twitter i actually spent a day where i was stuck on a bus ride home and i was like hey everybody who's got small youtubers reach out to me send me a link to your channel i got time right now i'd be happy to review everything you have going on and get, offer everybody some pointers moving forwards i had a lot of fun doing it seems like a lot of people really enjoyed doing it so I kind of wanted to move the Patreon page into one, there's still going to be all the old things of the Patreon survival server. So if anybody wants to play Minecraft with me, uh, join the Patreon server. There's going to be weekly streams from there now that I'm doing this full time gig. That's the plan. But anyways, if you're an up and coming YouTuber and want to get a little bit more extra help and insider tips from somebody who's now doing it as their real job, I would be more than happy to do that. So be sure to go check that out. Anyways, stop advertising my Patreon page. Now I've decided to lay this thing out as we've been jumping around it for a long time here. Uh, blue concrete powder is basically my block of choice for laying this out because, you know, the sewer is going to be pretty wet and grimy and all that stuff. We have some large open areas over here. This is the largest one. I'm almost thinking this is going to be where we're going to be using that Thieves Guild type idea. And I want to add a few little jutting off areas in here, a few pockets and things that we can live inside of. But we've got a bit of a challenge that we're running across right here right now we are on block level 67 the water level is 62 which means we need to make sure that everything on this guy comes down to where's that place that i was opening up we can do it right here so the water is right there we need to make sure that the sewers end about at that water level i think we're going to have them kind of flowing out at this plank level so the water will be at the height of this blue block that adds a few problems going forwards. We got I got to spend some time just getting some stuff done, but I figured out a few ways that I want to get into the sewers. This one, for example, is just this staircase right up here in this hidden back area that I never filled in. I figured it'd be a great time to fill it in and add a staircase down here. These red pathways are not going to be where water is. It's kind of little areas down the staircase in here into the sewers area. So, you know, it makes sense, all that cool stuff. But I need to spend a little bit of time here getting this area cleaned out 
farming up a lot of this dirt to smooth out some areas so we can actually work through them and we'll go from there so i just started building things and you know getting things ready got my inventory good to go first block i break accidentally break the dirt block below it and fall right into a spawner this is a skeleton spawner should we somehow incorporate these guys into the dungeon i think that'd be kind of cool but i have no idea how to do it so I need your help on this one. I've been doing a bit of work on the sewers here, and as you can see, we have the base area in over here, and I wanna start here before we get around to that more finished up section. Not fully finished, I'm just getting the base layer in for now. As you can see down here, we have the stairs on the side with a cobblestone block in the middle and stairs on the other side, so it looks like it's two blocks wide of water here to give it some extra width, and then up here, I actually brought it up an additional half slab, so this is actually mob poof, mob poof, uh, mob proof, that, which allows us to actually leave it very dark. We don't have to worry about lighting everything up on the corners like this guy right here, which that's pretty cool. Like you can see that one little light there and then it's pretty dark at the end. And I like that. I like that idea, what we're going for with that kind of theme right there. Then what I want to be doing for the walls and the supports and everything is kind of this overall arching theme thing that you're seeing here so it's going to come something like that and then a lot more slabs coming down over in this area so it's going to be a lot of slab action going on in here but i think that's okay so we'll finish up a little section here together for us i'm running into a few issues though because this base area up here where we're looking at like the ceiling up here is a lot of gravel this is the dirt layer and then right above that is the top ceiling portion of where our road is i guess not a ceiling the floor uh, and so that's a bit of an issue for now, but I'm getting by it just slowly. It's only going to be a problem in this section here, but I think it'll be good. So right in there, as you can see, some gravel came through, unfortunately. But what we can do is basically just come through here, place that full block back in, and then wherever the heck that gravel went, right there, got it. And this is going to be basically just these guys going along this entire way. I like this one down here. This is kind of that central rounded water holding portion that I was talking about. This one's not quite a circle here. It was mostly just elongated out this way a little bit longer because that is the wall leading up to the water area. So maybe we can add another drain through there. This gets us down to that kelp farm storage that we have way at the bottom. And that's kind of a lot of what I've got going on here so far. The way that the water's flowing out is actually just right through there. It just is going straight out that far side there. I think it's good so far. I'm going to keep working on this one and hopefully get this little section all the way up until probably that holding pen for water up there finished. And maybe stretching out this way too. I think the goal for today is going to be to get a lot of these general sections in on this side done. And then I think this might be like a good casual stream project more than something to pack an episode in because it's just kind of a lot of plain block placing. There is a creeper right inside of my little storage room I've created. I can't get in here. Oh, he sees me. He sees me. Oh, no. All right. Let's get you out here and we can like fight right there and then run away. And please, thank you. Okay. Do not need him blowing up over here. As I've been expanding this area like crazy, dug this area out all the way to the bottom down here. It's massive. We could hold so much water down in this area and then that would come back up here and be able to go right back out into the ocean right through that block should get us there pretty perfectly. And what I've been doing here just to make sure that it flows normally is actually waterlogging that slab on the outside. And I've just been working on expanding these areas out, making them look a little bit cleaner and just basically placing down a bunch of stone brick, which has been going pretty well. I'm out of slabs right now, which is where that creeper came into the play. But yeah, this is the area that I want to work on. I think if we get these ones finished up for now, that should be pretty good. Over here, I did add a lot of small things that add a lot of life to this area. You can very, very easily add a lot of life to your sewers area. By one, we need a little bit of bone meal. Let me grab that. All right, seagrass is going to be one of those things that we can use inside of our game to add a lot of life to this area just by adding those little bits down here, especially on the sections that are starting to work their way out into the water. I do want to come around here and in like these guys start adding in some stone brick like as a circle bit. So it looks a bit more like strengthened up there, not just that weaker piece. And I think iron bars can be waterlogged. So maybe we'll throw an iron bar in right down there. But what I added over here was I raised this area up so we can place some things on it, makes it mob spawnable, but then we fill everything on here with blocks that can't spawn mobs. So we got a little bed, which could be a bench as well. The redstone torch had a very slight source of light. And then these guys over here just kind of doing their thing. Then naturally somebody needs to be able to come down here to sleep on this bed and they probably can't get to this side of the sewers from anywhere quickly. So they have a little wooden plank way where they can just walk right across without having to swim in this gross gunky stuff. 
But that's kind of it for in those areas. Back here, we have another little narrow cutout, jut out area to it. We got some slabs or trap doors down there and just some extra storage and things over in this area. What I want to do down here, though, is quickly come down and grab some kelp. This one we built up a heck of a long time ago. It's very far down here, apparently. Uh, I was playing with the idea of having like a super modern, modernized area below. We can just throw that andesite away. Uh, below everything here, almost like what you see in Westworld, the TV show. And then everybody kind of was like, no, whip, you're crazy. Don't do that. So we didn't we didn't continue with it outside of this kelp farm. So that's why it's super modernized down there. Maybe we need to go back down and retrofit that thing. But what I want to do with the kelp we just got is that you can come down in these areas and start planting in a little bit of kelp and really make it look like things are starting to live in this area. Things are starting to grow and thrive throughout here. So I'm going to keep messing with these things. And I'll give you guys an update as soon as I get this next area finished. I've turned on the builders modded shaders so y'all can see a little bit better throughout here and it looks really, really cool. I love this. We have naturally spawning fish in here. So I flew away and I came back. There's a whole school of cod down here, picked them all in a bucket and placed them all back down so they shouldn't despawn and I love it. A few made it all the way out here too. A few are randomly spawned like they're way down in there. You can see those little guys swimming around. And I love having the fish down here. Definitely would not recommend eating them though. I added in this small area that I absolutely love. This is something that I think for sewers builds, you have to include these types of things throughout. We have some hidden potion maker, apothecary dude who's down here. He's growing nether wart illegally maybe, making his potions on his brewing stand, lives down here and brews all of his stuff up. So maybe he's somebody who sneaks around here grabs us back exit area right in here and is just like kind of slides into the town and then whenever he needs to do his work he comes right back on down here and does all this stuff one thing that i have been noticing though that's gonna be it what we're doing for the sewers today by the way uh that's gonna be it for that one we might be working on those here in the near future but i think it might be better for streams one thing y'all yell at me about like crazy in the comments below is we need to have some sort of life throughout the city a lot of y'all said cats and dogs and small animals that we can tame and let walk around here. I think cats is a great idea. So I'll tell y'all what, I'm gonna go back over to Papyrus, pick up a bunch of fish, and we'll go down to the village and try and catch a bunch of cats. Stop number one is gonna be the old AFK fish farm where we have a bunch of leftover junk in here. Way down here, I believe we should still have a bunch of the stuff. Yes, we do. Let's take a stack of raw, two stacks of each. That'd be totally fine. We're getting a lot of cats, everybody. We're going to make this city very creeper safe. Ah, yes, the old village with one of our original cats, Donut, in here. It's time to get a few more donuts, I think. Thank you all so very much for hanging out with me today in this episode where we worked on the sewers. We gathered up a few kitty cats over here and brought back some dogs that were left in the nether. I'm sorry you guys were left down there, guys. This was a little warm, I'm sure. So we can start bre breeding up some dogs. We can breed up all these kitty cats. We can get a bunch of different ones over. We got the white one, we got a brown one, and we got a gray one. I do want to go get all the different types, though. So I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time on the side gathering those up myself. That being said though, I do wanna say thank you all so much for hanging out with me while we were working on the sewers. This is gonna be a weird transition. I'm super excited to be moving into this full-time role on YouTube as I've talked about many a times now in this video. So thank you all so much for the support. It's very cool seeing where we're gonna be able to go with all this. So if you all are excited 
and want to show some love, I would very much appreciate all of the likes, comments, and all that good stuff. And you know, while, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. So thank you all so much for watching today's episode, but that is going to have to do it. I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs>